let's see how manly we can get things here. Anyways, my name's Hans, and uh, I'm up in the great white Canadian north. Currently, let's see if you can see snowshoeing with a uh, saw on my back, and embarrassingly enough, it's a selfie stick. But uh, I figured I'd send in my review for a uh, Mind Pump Maps programs. I've just turned over my one year anniversary being in the gym. Kind of working anywhere between five and seven days in a week. I'm 39, um, married, two kids, all the casual stuff out there. And yeah, I am just out sawing in some trail for our snowshoe club here. And uh, yeah, so programs I currently have are Maps Anabolic, um, Maps Performance. And I am just on the tail end of finishing up Map Strong, and I, I think Map Strong is my absolute favorite. Uh, just unconventional lifts, a little bit of variety, and uh, I don't know, just things that you would have never associated possibly doing in the gym. I'm doing in the gym, and uh, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera here. I'm trying to pay attention to keep myself on the trail, and uh, I love it. So I started out at 189 pounds. And I finished at 189 pounds, but I've also lost about three inches off my waist. And though I've never been actually that big in general, um, I was a little bit bigger. And my journey started in 2016 when I was up at 240 pounds, a big guy, and I just didn't want to be there. I saw a picture of myself in a pool with my kids, and uh, I realized I don't want to be a 240 pound guy. So over the years, I've trimmed her down and up until last year started really taking it serious in the gym and I love it I I wish I'd started you know when I was 15 like a lot of experienced lifters but I didn't quite do that I stayed with motorcycling and all the other activity outdoor activities but uh I love it um I really enjoyed maps anabolic that was kind of my introduction and the biggest thing was putting my ego aside and using smaller weights just to get my body accustomed to it instead of lifting heavy and then being sore and burnt out I uh, took a step back so I started really light and uh, working heavy and hard at it all day we uh, well we me got to a point where I started getting bigger and bigger weights so a year later I've hit some pretty heavy PRs 450 on my deadlift for two reps uh, a week 225 on my bench for three reps and a 360 pound back squat so you can tell I have a weak upper body but a definitely strong lower body but the MAPS programs have kind of set the tone and more of a standard for me personally to allow me to work hard without being burnt out or sore work consistently and that would probably be my best advice to anybody out there is do it consistently whether it's one to two days a week or five or six or seven days a week consistency has been probably the biggest key for me um, and as I've moved through my maps programs and my fitness journey I wouldn't even say journey it was more like an adaptation for lifestyle I have also started to continuously modify my diet finding foods what used to upset me and what foods didn't upset me. A big discovery is peanut butter, how it made me feel bloated and kind of sore and I wouldn't say sick, but probably not at my optimal performance. But uh, yeah, I've even tried reducing my peanut butter consumption, which I was never heavy into, but I love peanut butter, it's good. And uh, so yeah, I, I really think that if you're looking for a simple program, a simple introductory program I think maps anabolic is probably the greatest program you could start with and then depending on your fitness goals I'd even recommend going into map strongman next and then for me as uh, motorcycle racing starts up in the summertime maps performance will be the next one and, and keep in mind too is I did maps performance at the start it was a uh, I got about two months in and then kind of 2020 shut all the gyms down so I wasn't able to finish my maps performance but I enjoyed it but I also enjoy just the heavy lifting that's something I really gravitated towards and I really enjoyed and 
I have to say mind pump is definitely a good start for me. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And if anybody's on the fence, reach out to the boys over there, Adam, Sal, and Justin, and mind pump Doug, who I kind of got my inspiration from and uh, go from there. And hopefully you can find something that works for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.